Oh man, we got another duck. What's up, modern steaders? We're gonna bring the automatic pig feeder out to the pigs, get that set up. We'll let them out on pasture. And then we got a few things we want to do in the garden. So let's get started on today's projects. Girls ready to come out for the afternoon? I bet you are. Go for it. Alright, I need some kind of strapping material to hold our automatic chicken feeder to the T-post. What we have here... We got some of this plastic stuff. And then I need some flat pan head screws. We got some inch and a quarter. Those are coarse. Ah, those will work. Better go to my office. I need a square bit, and I don't have one. Got it. Look how much fun they're having. What are you doing? You got a dirty nose. I like it. Just grab a couple of screws. Man, I grabbed the wrong size bit. Oh, so frustrating. There's just way too many bits nowadays. I'm telling you. Look at how much fun they're having. They are in hog heaven. I bet you this is like being at the beach for them. And look, they got a salad bar right in front of them. They don't even got to move. They get to sunbathe and eat all at one time. All right, now we got the right bit. See? Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so let's put that in the drill. Grab another screw. I like the house. I don't think they can do anything with that, so. All right, now we're all done. Let's go get the grain and fill this thing up. I don't think the pigs will use it right now, but they'll use it later on tonight and tomorrow while they're locked in their pen. We'll have to see how they do with it. We want to make sure we put everything away where it came from. So next time when we need it, we know where it is. It's not always fun to do it, but we got to do it. Let's take the square bit back out. We'll put our Torx bit back in. Let's put back all of our supplies so next time we need them, guess what? We know right where they'll be. It's somewhat organized down here, but hey, I got really something exciting to show you. Let's go see. Today is day 23 on the white incubators with the Icelandic chicks. I was gonna throw the eggs out this one, but I didn't have time before I had to leave for work, and I'm glad I didn't. Look what I found. Can you see? Look at that. Right there. Can you see that? Can you see the peephole? There's a chicken trying to get out. An Icelandic chicken. Keep our fingers crossed. Either tonight or tomorrow we'll have an Icelandic chick. Oh, did you see that? It's chirping. Can you see it? No, I don't think you can. The little beak sticking out the hole. 
Wait till Gina and Olivia get home. They're not going to want to leave the side of this incubator. They're going to be pretty darn excited. Pretty excited myself. We got to get back to work and bring some grain out to the pigs. I don't know how good this is going to work. We got a camera on one hand, 50 pound bags of grain on the other, the dog following us somewhere. You're coming, Pluto. And now we got to get the door open and get out to the pig pasture. Let's do this. Come on, Pluto. Oh. All right, we can get this done. Oops, give me a minute. All right, let's see. Oh, this again. Oh. All right, let's try it again. Here we go. Come on, Pluto. You excited to go see the piggies, huh? You wanna go see the piggies? Why do you want to see the piggies? She don't know why she wants to see the pigs. Talk about a workout. Huh. We don't need to go to a gym. We got our own gym right here. And the membership is awesome food. Yeah, I like that membership. Whew. Oh, the pig found a scratching post. Gets heavy. That scared me. Make sure you get it all in your pocket. You don't want your animals eating this or the string that can get wrapped in their intestine and it wouldn't be good. We have to make something like a bracket to go from here to here. We'll do that some other time. Today we're just gonna get the feed in it. Sweet! Look at all that feed they get. I like it. And anytime they're eating here, it's just gonna keep coming out. So they're just gonna get in here, get their nose under it, they'll eat. Boom, eat, boom. We have one whole 50 pound bag of feed in here and we could hold another one, easy. That's awesome. So you might be asking, what's the reason for the automatic pig feeder? It's not because I'm lazy and I don't want to come out and feed my pigs two or three times a day. I love doing that. But I want my pigs to have an endless supply of feed whenever they're hungry. I don't want them to be hungry, you know why? They'll grow faster and they'll be a happier pig and happier pigs make better meat. So they'll always have an endless supply of feed. They can eat whenever they want. They don't gotta wait on me. They'll grow faster. We'll get better bacon quicker. Win, win. Right now, the pigs on pasture, the grain is their second choice of food. Their main choice of feed is the grubs, the bugs, the roots they're finding in the greenery. They don't care about grain right now. They're gonna eat it. Look at this, they're already digging up roots for us. Thank you. Talk about stump removal. Look at how cute the pigs are. Let's go check on the chickens and the ducks. Oh man, we got another duck that didn't make it. There's nothing wrong with this duckling. Man, man, I don't know what happened to this duckling. It looks perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Let's go stick it up here so Pluto don't find it and try getting a treat. I'll bury it in the compost pile later. I don't know what's up with our ducklings. They all seem pretty healthy and then we're just finding them dead here and there. They're free ranging wherever they want to go. They're coming outside the fence. It's not like predators are getting them. There's water for the chickens right in there. There's water for the ducklings. They can get that water and they can get that water. They got an endless supply of feed. I don't know what's going on, but it's not good. But we're going to be having a nice landing check hatching pretty soon. So that's a cool thing. So doing yesterday's update video, I remembered I had to plant my heirloom Siberian pole beans from Earl. Thanks, Earl. And then it got me thinking about the beets. So let's get these pole beans planted, and then I'll talk to you about the beets. All right. Earl sent me some of his Siberian pole beans. This is awesome, Earl. I can't wait to get these in the ground and growing. Oh, I dropped one. 
These look like seeds he saved from his own plants. Awesome. Pluto likes them. All right, let's get them in the ground. Pluto, these beans aren't for you. All we're going to do is just press them right in the ground, right by the corn stalks. I might have to pee on my corn again. It's looking a little light. I think it needs some more nitrogen. We got a bean growing there already. So we won't do one on that plant. We got that's not a bean, but that's some kind of viney plant growing up. Earl, I'm excited to see what these Siberian pole beans look like. Earl, did you count my corn plants? We have just enough beans for all these corns. Thanks, this is perfect. It couldn't have worked out any better if you planned it. Now it's time to experiment with the beets. I'm only seeing three ducklings. Man, I hope there's some more hiding somewhere else. You look hot and tired, Pluto. I'm gonna dig around till we find some good, dark, kind of composted wood chips. They're nice and wet. I think I found a good spot over here. We have some breaking down. We got it's got some worms, some worm eggs. What this is is some wood chips that we got last year, early last year, and they've been sitting over here, decomposing, and for us, getting ready to use them. So I want to try adding some wood chips and composted wood chips and some hay in here and just see if we can get this soil a little bit lighter. I'm wondering if it's just the loom that's in here and all the rain, it's just compacting too much and it's not letting our beets grow. So let's get some of these wood chips on there and turn them in. Just another good experiment. Something doesn't work, try something else, don't give up. Some of that organic material worked into the soil. That soil's looking pretty nice. I hope our beet crop turns out good. We love pickled beets. We need to make some beet kvass with them. It is hot out here, at least for this northern guy. Get these things planted. This time we're using high mowing organic seeds, beets. No, this one, this variety is. Detroit dark red beet. Let's see if we can get these going. Let's hope that the chips and the hay that we have in here will help a one packet. It's gonna be enough to do this. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and lightly fill the rows in with dirt. Get some water on it. You like that? No? All right. I just had to check, make sure it worked. We'll get these beets watered in and then we got a surprise to show Gina and Olivia after dinner. I bet you they're gonna be excited. I'm excited. Hopefully that'll offset the whole thing with the ducklings. I don't know what's going on with them. If you guys have any ideas of what it could be, leave it in the comments down below. I was kind of hoping just to let the mothers raise the ducklings naturally and let them go there's no predator we haven't had any predator pressure it's not like anything's eating them the chickens aren't bothering them the male ducks aren't bothering them that one was dead outside of new york city's city limits so i don't know what it was did you hear my phone go off we got a notification that we have a comment from a subscriber 
Last nice guy one commented, does it monetize you better if we watch the whole ad that comes on before your videos as opposed to skipping in the first five seconds? Thanks for that great question, last nice guy. How good you can see that right there? Can you see that? Yes, it does. At least if you watch, if the ad is over 30 seconds, watch at least 30 seconds of it, then you can skip it and that helps monetize the channel better. If it's less than 30 seconds long, if you could watch the whole thing, we'd really appreciate it. Thanks, modern steaders. All right, so I went over to New York City to see what was going on with the Ducklands again, and they were outside, they were in New Pork City. I told you, they went outside the city limits of New York City. That's all right, the cool thing was is the mums weren't around. So I was able to grab them up. We're gonna put them in the basement and get them going down there. Make sure we can save at least these three. Yes, that's a score. That makes this a great day. Can you hear the mamas? They're not happy. But this guy is. They'll get over it. They've already lost five of them. We can't have that. We gotta save these three. They're not gonna be happy because they've been out eating grass and bugs already. Look at that. Boom! Let's go bring them in the basement. I could have planned that if I wanted to. I have some wood shavings in the back of my truck. The bees are coming. So we got shavings for them. I don't know if you can still hear the mama ducks. They're not happy. We got wood shavings for them, so we can get them growing in that little pen. If that Icelandic chick hatches out, we can put her or him in with the ducks. And when we get the meat birds, they can all go together. Sweet. I would much rather let the mamas take care of these guys, but I don't like the odds they've been having, so we'll keep them in here for at least for a few days or a week or two, and then we'll put them back out. Let's give them some water, and we'll see if it's the water that they've been lacking. wet their beaks in it so they know where the water is. They like, they like the water, but they don't act like they're needed, so I don't think they were dehydrated. I just don't know. I guess it'll remain a mystery unless any of you guys have a good guesstimation of why that happened. They're home. We got some good news, good news, and some bad news to share with them. Let's see. They're here. Woo woo. So we have good news, good news, and bad news. Which one do you want first? Bad news. I've got one to pick too. Okay. I'll tell you the bad news first. So I only found three ducklings outside. What? And then I found one dead one. What? I know. But. I went to New Pork City after to turn the fence on and go check on the ducklings and they were inside New Pork City so I caught them and they're in the house! Yay! So they weren't missing what you caught them? They weren't missing, there was only three and the three were outside of New York City and I was able to get them because they were outside away from their mother and I got them in the house. And then, even better news, we have an Icelandic chicken hatching! What? 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 Yeah, there's one peephole. You think it will come out? Did you make the humidity go? I did. The humidity's up. Little baby. Grow up with the ch duck. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Maybe. Oh, what a baby ducky! Bullet. They're pretty feisty. They got. Love it. Your feet are cold. They I got do? plenty of energy. Mom, can I use? Careful, you gotta wash your hands really good and keep it away from your face. Yeah. Hmm. You think it's just hot out? I don't know if it's the hot or the heat that's doing it or what's doing it. <laughs> they do like to squirm. Well, they don't want to be in this little box. They want to be out running around. That one looks small then. They seem like they're doing so good when we check on them. We started as park strangers. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it really helps. And we'll keep you updated on the ducklings. Hopefully the three ducklings we have left are nice and healthy. 
Maybe we'll find a couple more out in New York City still. And keep our fingers crossed on that Icelandic chick. That'd be pretty cool, huh? And we'll be getting some more meat birds in a couple of days. So you'll have to come back to keep updated on that. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Long the Acres. Hey God, modern home setting sells efficiency and freedom. You say that, say that nicely. No. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.